Hey everyone, Miss Flame here, and I'm going to show you how I paint in the minions for the board game Max vs Minions. This is what the miniatures will look like. I will use easy to follow steps. There are around 100 miniatures in the box, of which 4 will be pre-painted. Those will be the characters that you play, uh, the yordles, you can see them here in the picture. The miniatures in the board game come in four different poses, which is actually really nice to have some variety when painting. I'm going to paint them in a batch of 8 to 10 of the same miniature at the time, just to speed up the process. Before I prime them, I only wash them with warm water and dishwasher soap to make sure the primer stays on well. I first primed the miniatures in the color Dragon Red from the Army Painter. The main color of the miniatures is going to be red. Because of that, this will save you a lot of time otherwise painting the red color. Because I preferred a darker red, for the next step I used the color Heavy Red of the Extra Opaque line of Vallejo. You can completely skip this step if you like the color Dragon Red. This is not necessary at all. I used a 50-50 mixture of paint and water for this. Here I am using a number 2 brush, which I will be using the whole time. But only for this step, when I was painting 8 or 10 at the same time, I used a number 4 brush. For their faces, I used the color black from Vallejo. This is a very easy step because you don't have to be so precise with the color. When you are painting, also make sure to paint the inner edge around their face, as you can see here in the color black. This will prevent seeing red dots in the future between the black and the silver color, which you will apply later on. For their eyes, I use the color Off-White from Vallejo. This step is a lot harder than the previous one with painting the black because in here you have to be a lot more precise. The good thing about this is there is uh, lines indicating uh, the eye, where the eyes are of the miniature. Try to follow these lines as much as you can. But don't worry if you make any mistakes like I did, you can retouch it with the black. Also, don't worry if, you're, if the eyes of the miniatures don't look exactly the same. For the armor, shield and axe, I use the color Chainmail Silver from Vallejo. I'm going to need two layers to get a good coverage. For the first layer, I will mix in a bit of black with the Chainmail Silver. When you are mixing these colors, make sure you mix the black in uh, with small amounts at a time. Otherwise, it can really darken the color, which you probably don't want. This step will take up most of the time when painting the miniature. This is because there are a lot of big areas, but also a lot of smaller areas. The big areas are, are for example, the shield and the axe. Those are pretty easy to paint, but you also have a lot of smaller areas. I try to uh, stay away from the areas which will stay in the color red. But if you go over them with the silver color, it's pretty easy to retouch them later on with the red color. Which I did after painting the whole miniature with all the colors. I went back to check on them with the red to see wherever I need any uh, retouching. Here I apply the second layer. With this layer I only use the chainmail silver so I don't add any black. This step goes faster than the previous one. The only thing is you just want to go over the areas you already painted in silver and you actually need to remember which areas did I already paint and which areas I still need to paint. For the handle of the X, I'm going to use the color Beastie Brown of Vallejo. For the small area that we're going to paint, it is relatively easy to do. You just want to make sure you're not painting over the silver color of the X but to paint over the gloves that is actually fine i would actually suggest that you do that because we're going to paint them later on and this way you want to make sure there are no little red spots between the x and the gloves that you will see for the fluff on their head 
I'm going to use the color Glazier Blue of Vallejo. This is a white bluish color. Basically, it's a white color with a bluish tone in it. To get a good coverage, I will need to use two layers. I really like this color with the color I'm going to use for their gloves, which is a darker blue-gray color. Other than that, this step is really easy to do and it's really quick. I painted their gloves in the color Somber Grey of Vallejo. This is a blue darker grey color. With this you need to be a little bit more uh, neat since you painted basically all the areas around it already. The silver, uh, the brown, so you're trying to cover only the gloves as much as you can. For the belt I use the color Brazzy Brass of Vallejo. This is a very easy and quick step. The area you're going to paint is very small and it's also very easy because the belt is raised on the miniature. Try to avoid to go over the red as much as you can and make sure to use a, a thin layer. I used one layer to get enough coverage. For the bases of the Minions I use the color Brown Grey from Scale 75. I wanted to use a darker color but I didn't want to go for black. That's why I used a darker grey color. I do have grey colors from Vallejo but I don't have a darker grey color like this one. Instead of mixing the lighter grey colors into a darker grey color, I just used the color I already have, but then from scale 75. To get full coverage, I needed to use two layers of this. This step is optional. To give the shield more depth, I use the shade color Nun Oil of Citadel and the color Silver of Vallejo. First I used a mix of water with a little bit of nun oil. I did this to prime the shield because shades and metallics don't go as well together. They don't stick on that well. That's why you need to do this first. Make sure to wait at least 10 minutes before going to the next step. Then I used pure nun oil on the shield to darken it and to add a nice shade to it. Before applying the silver color on the shield, make sure to wait around 20 minutes because if the shade is not dry yet and you start to apply the silver color, you will basically brush off the shader and that will not look any good. The last step is to apply the color silver to the outside edge of the shield and the inner raised areas so you can see the nice drawing which is uh, on the shield. This will give the shine back to the metallic because the shader totally removed the shine of it. It also will give you a nice pop next to the dark and now silver color. That's how I painted the minions. I think they really look nice, especially when we play the board game. It just makes them I don't know be alive more so actually when you kill a bunch of them it feels like yeah i hope you enjoyed watching this video if you have any questions or comments just leave them in the comments below are you thinking about painting them did you already do it how did it go let me know